Welcome back everyone to this comprehensive crash course that will take you from complete beginner to confidently self-hosting and running your cool SaaS ideas into production using Coolify. In our course preview module in the last video, we talked about the challenges that many developers face with traditional hosting providers such as the Versals and Netlify and Fly.io and etc. etc. Today, we are diving deep into Coolify and setting up our infrastructure for success. Before we start order our servers, let's first understand what Coolify is and why it's revolutionary for self-hosters and how we will set it up for production use. So let's start with what is Coolify. Coolify is an open source platform as a service or PaaS. You have heard of SaaS before, but this is a platform as a service application that gives you the same convenient feature like Vercel or Heroku or any other PaaS providers really, but this will run on your own infrastructure. So let me show you what that actually means. So using Coolify, you can actually deploy application directly from your Git. You can manage database. You can manage your SSL certificates. You can monitor all your applications, you can set up automatic backups, and so much more. And all of this runs on your server that you control, which means that you control the cost and you have full access to everything. Now, understanding the Coolify's architecture and how that looks like in terms of the interface really makes our deployment decisions in a better way, right? So let's look at a few of the you know, configuration interface that Coolify provides out of the box. So first of all, when you install Coolify, you will be greeted as like this dashboard interface where you can create your multiple projects uh, and based on your different SaaS ideas or applications. And under projects, you can add resources, you can add multiple servers under a specific project and within specific project, you can also maintain multiple um, applications as well. So your resources can be like uh, a BUN application or a Node.js application or a static web page, or it can be a database, anything. Literally there's about hundreds of open source application as well that you can host on your server through Coolify. The best part is you can actually set up the network. You can use uh, something like Caddy to do your reverse proxy setup and all of this, they support Docker containers and through using Docker registry, it can manage your Docker based application as well in your server, which is really, really cool. And probably that's something we are going to do a lot in this course. You can manage your deployment, as I have said, just by pushing your code into the kit and you can see the deployment log. You can do the automatic deployment through Coolify uh, in just few clicks, basically. Just you do set up once and it will manage it for you forever. As I said, you can manage multiple servers. Uh, there is this server option where you can add multiple servers into uh, that can be managed through the Coolify instance. So this is another screenshot of showing all your servers like application servers, so like production environment or whatever environment. So you can actually uh, create multiple servers for different environments and uh, you can manage it as well. You can also set notifications. You can integrate it with Telegram. You can you can set up an SMTP server. So wherever, let's say, your application goes down or something happens in your server, you can get notified by Coolify. So this is going to do the complete management of your infrastructure, which is a really nice feature. Plus, you can do backups. You can schedule backup of your application data or your database data. You can manage your database and everything from within the console as well. The, of the another cool feature is you can actually bring your team inside the Coolify interface so that your team members can actually manage it for you. So that is really cool feature. When you compare it with Vercel, they literally charge you 20 quits extra when you add a new team member. But again, with Coolify, you can add as many team members as you want. You can bring in a whole team and let them manage the infrastructure for you. As you can see, uh, these are all environment variables that you can refer through multiple applications as shared variables and uh, or environment variables and deploy your applications as well. 
So these are really a very cool features. Now, what we will do in this course is, as we said, we are going to a production-like setup. So that means before we go and look at our hosting provider and buy the server, let's first understand how Coolify runs and how we will set up our server. So we will work on three server topology as part of this course. That means we will run our Coolify server into a separate instance that will be a small box, probably around two or three GB of RAM. And then we will also host two big application servers where we will deploy our application in a high availability setup. Of course, if you have some extra budget, you can introduce a load balancer server in the middle where you can do all the SSL termination and everything. And from the load balancer server, you can send the traffic to specific application server. This is even better set up from a management point of view. But in this instance, in this course, we are not going to do that because that will, of course, introduce more cost for me and uh, for this course. So we will focus on uh, just doing the three server setup, but I will definitely show you how you can set up the load balancer or the proxy. Maybe we can use the Coolify server and itself and set up our load balancer there. The main reason why we are separating the Coolify server separate to our application server is because sometimes if your application is like a high usage application or it is being used by many customers at the same time, that can take all the resources up. If that happens and uh, if your server gets frozen, that means we won't be able to access the Coolify management interface. So we should actually keep the management interface separate from your application server so that if something happens to your application servers, we can still manage the entire stack, right? So that means we can even introduce another server for using the Coolify management uh, dashboard and we can actually scale your application to multiple other servers, which won't be possible if you install the Coolify server and application server into one server. And if that server is frozen, that means we will not have access to the management dashboard to manage that application so that is not something that is intended and again this is something qualify themselves recommend to host the qualify server as a separate instance now if your budget is tight what you can also do is you can set up the qualify in a raspberry pi or a small or if you have a mini pc in your home you can set it up there and you can use cloudflare tunnel to access the uh, access the management interface and then you can host the application on your cloud but because in this course we are doing more production like setup we are not going to do that in raspberry pi i do have a raspberry pi in, in my home so if you want to see how to set up qualify server in raspberry pi and manage it uh, manage your cloud uh, instances let me know in the comments and i will definitely bring a video probably at towards the end of the course uh, but for the scheduled course scheduled course journey we will set up a cloud server where we will deploy our qualify and then we will progress with setting up the application server one by one as we progress to the course now we will quickly look at different bps provider that you can uh, use of course this is just uh, to name a few there are several and several others but uh, there are a few VPS provider that people usually use uh, to quickly spin up servers like Kamatera, Hetnizer, Linode, Hosting, or DigitalOcean. Now, the good news is we do have a partnership uh, with Kamatera. So that means if you use Kamatera using our affiliate link, you will get a $100 free credit to use the Kamatera. So maybe as part of the course, if you want to do the hands-on, which I would, of course, recommend you to do, uh, while you are going through the course, please go ahead and use Kamatera and uh, using the affiliate link that I will provide into the community. Uh, so come to the community, grab the link and get $100 free to use Kamatera and just go through the course. And if you find Kamatera is reliable providers, you can definitely use it for your future purpose. Yeah. We are also in process of making a partnership with Hostinger to give you some additional benefit. Uh, but please stay into the community for such update. Uh, if once we have that partnership established, I will update the community and I'll also update through this type of video as well. But yeah, feel free to use any of this. It's not mandatory that you have to use Kamatera or any of these providers. You can use any other provider like AWS or, or, or whatever. But these are the cheapest alternative and these are some of the popular alternatives that I wanted to show you uh, as part of the course as well. 
we will now quickly go to the qualify documentation and show you what is the minimum requirement that we need to run the qualify so this is the qualify documentation link here you can see that uh, qualify can be hosted on a vps dedicated server proxmox server raspberry pi or any other server with ssh access that is really really cool um, uh, it supports both ARM architecture and AMD64 architecture. That's really cool because they are a support ARM ar architecture. That means you can host it on Raspberry Pi or any low power devices. This is really, really cool. And minimum server requirement, it is two core CPU, two GB RAM and 30 plus GB storage of images. And of course, if you want to run it on production, uh, it is recommended to have four GB of RAM but that's fine. We will go ahead with 2GB RAM for our 2GB RAM and 2-core CPU for our Qualify instance. And for our production instance, we will look to do 8GB of memory and 4 CPU because we will actually install quite a lot of um, application as part of this course and test uh, how things are being managed by Qualify. So hopefully you are ready. Uh, so, so as a next step, what I will do is I'll use the affiliate link and I will do a sign up here. So please go ahead, go to the community, get this link. This will give you a hundred dollar free credit to be used for next 30 days. Please go ahead and uh, use that link and register to come at her. Now I have logged into the cloud platform and just had the sign up uh, to this platform. So first thing what we have to do is we have to create a billing profile. So I'll just quickly create the billing profile. All it needs is your information details and credit card details. Uh, don't worry, it's not going to charge you if you have used our affiliate link because you will get $100 for first 30 days for absolutely free. So don't worry about it. Just add the billing profile. So in the billing profile page, after you have provided your personal information, you will see what the promo code includes. So it includes 30 days free storage, one cloud server up to 100 USD and uh, 1000 GB of cloud block storage and 1000 GB of outgoing internet traffic. So, so let me go ahead and set up my billing profile uh, by providing the card information. So now my account is activated. So we'll go to the server and we'll just click create new server. Now that because we have $100 credit, what I will do is I will order two server, one application server first and one qualified server. So let's do use UK because that's where I come from use ubuntu that's fine let's use the latest version that's all right use so we'll use four uh, cpu four gb or maybe six gb ram and i don't know maybe 50 gb hard disk is okay it should be okay for us we have to give a password and so let's name this cool app server one that's fine we are in the free zone but uh, if you don't need that much powerful server, you can always choose less if you less RAM. But uh, because I'm just going to show you a bunch of application set up, I'm probably just go with this. And we have placed the order. And if we refresh the page, it's still not there. So we will wait for the server to come. At the same time, I will put another order. Now, if you are just going to test it, uh, what I would recommend is create two account. Uh, maybe if you have two credit card or two debit card, just create two account with two, two different card so that you get two free credit account and using that, please put the order. So for this one, again, we are just going to select the same thing. But here we will just select two CPU, two GB RAM. I think 20 GB is too is sufficient. This we will name as cool management server. So this is the management server and we are going to create it here now so feel free to use any other provider now for the third application server probably we will use some other provider uh, later on as we need because we do not need the application server just yet we just need the qualify server at the moment to uh, host the qualify application so we will first do that and then maybe we will order the other application server as we go in this particular course so i think it will take some time for the servers to get provision i will hopefully get an email from kamatera when the server is ready and once that is done what i'll do is i will come back with the next lesson where we will set up the server productionize with all the firewall dns and everything set up and then we'll install the qualify with the standard uh, production like setup so please stay tuned for that subscribe to the channel uh, as i'm hopefully going to bring that lesson as soon as possible probably just tomorrow i'll 
upload that lesson so i'm just going to end the video right now right here and we will come back with the next lesson very soon so stay tuned take care and i'll see you on to the next one